if you like. What, what have you done? Nothing much. You're not violent, are you? No, no, no. Actually, I'm a writer. I, I wondered if you'd be interested in this script I've written. It's a 30-minute TV play aimed at young people. I mean, that's what I'm interested in. Do you like plays for young people? Um, yes. I've tried several of the TV companies. Bastards. It's too controversial, that's the problem. I, I mean, I could write that shit. But what's the point in compromising? Life's too short, really, isn't it? Do you want some more tea? No, listen, where's your back door? Um, it, it's blocked up. I, I, I can't open it. This is a good bit. This guy is your age, and he meets a sailor at the pub. He says, I bet she's good at it, nodding to the girl at the bar. Sailor? Not me, mate. I'm queer. What do you see in girls? I don't know. It's supposed to be North Country. I, I can't do the accent. Shit. Don't worry, I'll sort this out. This is a bit much, isn't it? I'm trying to work. Police. Now look here. I'm sick of you bastards coming round here. My car was towed away, there was no apology, and you have the nerve to demand 30 pounds for its return. What is this? Russia, Herr Führer? What's up, sir? West End, please, Gov. I'm finishing my lunch first. Quick! It's important! Don't tell me what's important, John. I've got angina. Do you know what that means? That means I've got to eat slowly, otherwise I'll die. Then you won't be going anywhere in this cab, will you? Come in. Come in. Look at that. Look at that. Rush, rush, rush. See him, see him. Heart attack. Look, uh, I've got to get to an hospital. Um, it's an emergency. Um, I'm a nuclear scientist and I've been exposed to radiation. Out of cab. Out of cab. All right, look, look, I'm sorry. Uh, the police are after me. But it's not my fault. It's a case of mistaken identity. Really.
Excuse me, do you have a light? Uh, no. No, sorry. Oh, dear. I'm bursting for a ciggy. I don't smoke normally, but I'm so nervous. Capital Radio. Do you listen to Capital Radio? I'm doing a special interview there in half an hour. That's why I'm so nervous. Is your meter not working? No. Oh. My darling, brings you just a little bit more. Right, how much do I owe then? Uh, a pound? Oh dear, can you change a fiver? Uh, no, sorry, no. Well, what about that little purse dangling there? Cheers. Oh, your hand, you cut yourself. Yeah. Oh my God, and your face. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Oh well, take care then. Bye. Bye. Right. Bryanston Square, please. <laughs> £3.90 for you, cheers, go. Uh, I've had a good day. Keep the change, lucky boy. Drive! Just drive anywhere, it's all right, I'll pay. I owe you. Sorry, I don't know much about last night. Uh, I don't really know who you are. What am I supposed to be doing in Essex? You got a fag. Yeah. Do you mind driving me back? No, no, I can't. Why have you nicked it or something? <laughs> no. I'm the uh, heart attack taxi thief. All right. I'm Angie. Pleased to meet you.
Yeah, thanks. Be quick, I'm in a hurry. Hi, I'm Max. How are you? Here, take this. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. Just strap yourself in in case I turn this thing over. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm an epileptic. Well, I've been all right since Christmas. My wife says I'm crazy and ought to be locked up. Perhaps she's right. <laughs> God, she's beautiful. Wish I could see her. She won't let me in the house without a lawyer. I mean, that's not a proper marriage, is it? Huh? Are you, uh, are you married? No. It's the nights I can't take. It's all right at first to stay with friends. Uh, but you know what it's like when you start falling over and frightening the children. <laughs> And then in the morning, it was Max. Can you go now? I said, Mary, it's half past five in the morning. She said, I'm sorry, Max. I'm sorry. I don't feel safe while you're in the house. Cigarette? Yeah. Of course. I admit it, I'm a, a bit of a mess just now. I, I haven't slept for seven days. <laughs> I'm a nice guy, aren't I? What the fuck is going on? I've been driving around in this car for three days and I don't know who I am anymore. And it's down to this. If someone doesn't start to understand me right now, I'm going to kill us all, and I mean it. Am I coming across? Look, Max, we've got our own problems, right? Look, Max, when this car slows down, I'm going to get out and kick the shit out of you. All you have to do is call her, tell her I'm sorry, and I'll do anything, anything she wants. She'll listen to you, I know. Tell her... Tell her I love her and I've really calmed down. Don't say you know me and talk quick before she puts the phone down. Does she say it's calling? Oh, just, just say I'm sorry and that, uh, is it ringing? Yeah. Oh, God, she's probably gone jogging. She's maybe met someone else. Oh, God, I hope he doesn't answer the phone. Um, do, do you think she's uh, met somebody else? Huh? Uh, what's something? Uh, do you want some money? I forgot to stop jabbering. Oh, OK, OK, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. What's her name? Phillips. Phillips. Uh, hello, Mrs Phillips. Um, you don't know me. My name's, uh, Andrew Taylor. What did you say? What did you say? No, no, he's alive. Have some more money. Well, do you want to do this? No, just say I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just if you really, fully can't talk to him, Mrs. Phillips, then he's very likely to kill not only himself, but me and my boyfriend as well. No, no, it's the way he drives. Yeah, I agree, he's a self-indulgent little worm. Just say I'm sorry, and I've really changed. Yeah, yeah, keep saying you're sorry. Look, here's Max, bye. I love you! Come in, do. Sit down, sit down. We don't get many visitors since our accident, do we, Franny? She hates me calling her Franny. Her real name's Francis, but I call her Franny. <laughs> You're a chicken farmer. No, I'm a PE instructor. Uh, may I use the bathroom, please? Yes, it's through there. Thank you. 
Oh, you've cut your hand. Yeah, it's nothing very much. What was it, a head-on collision? Or did you smash into a tree, blind drunk? Tim! We'd both been drinking, you see, heavily. And Franny said, oh, I'll drive home. Next thing, crash! I'd lost both legs. Still, at least she'd lost her license. <laughs> well, what do you do? I'm a typist. Oh, really? I thought you were a prostitute. Charming. How much do you charge? Do you take a check, do you? Tim, stop it! Tim, stop it! Tim, stop it! Tim, stop it! That's a typical Franny remark! Franny's a nymphomaniac too, aren't you, Franny? Aren't you a nymphomaniac, Franny? She'd kill me if she thought she'd get away with it. <laughs> Would you mind cutting some bread for me? Breakfast is very nearly ready. Ah! The pimp! I was just talking to your call girlfriend about doing it in doorways. Well, I must say, you're a gutless little swine, aren't you? You scratching loathsome piece of filth with your diseased trollop. Pimp! Whore! Pimp! Whore! Pimp! Whore! Pimp! Whore! Pimp! Whore! Pimp! Whore! 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 Sorry about that, kids. Too good a chance to miss. You can't look a gift horse in the mouth, can you? You've killed him. Well, I hope so, yes. Hello, police! Oh, my God! Something tragic has happened! My husband's been murdered! Yes, it was that boy! You know, the taxi one in the papers! Yes, he's murdered my husband right through the heart with a carving knife! Yes! Yes, it was a wedding present, actually! <laughs> Do you mind signing this order form? I'm on holiday next week, you see. I'm going to tell you something now. I don't want you to react anyway, do you understand? I beg your pardon? I'm a police officer and I'm aware of your situation. Do you follow? Oh, yes. Just answer this next question, yes or no. Are they inside? No. Are they in the immediate vicinity? Just relax. Everything's under control. I'd just like you to take two steps backwards into the house. Good girl. You're doing very well, uh... Francis. Lovely name for a lovely lady. Thank you. Now, Franny, what I want you to do is, without looking or pointing in any way, I want you to tell me exactly where they are. They're in the mini. Good. So that's two pints tomorrow, is it? Yes! The mini. The mini. Just one for you to sign for, uh, madam. Right, Fran. What I want you to do now is to go into your living room. Yes. You got that? Now, have you got any thick cushions or a rug in there? Um, no. But I've got a duvet. Oh, that'll do the trick. They're nice, aren't they? Better than making the old bed every day. Yes, I'd never go back to sheets and blankets. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, Fran, what I want you to do is to go into your living room and lie on the floor with the duvet over you. Have you got that? Yes. Now, in a few moments, you're going to hear a bit of a bang. So I'd like you to stay in that position until myself or a fellow officer gives you the all clear. Is that understood? Yes. Good girl. Off you go, then. Stand by. Go! Shit! This is really getting out of 
of hand, you know. You're not kidding. Look, don't you think you should just call us a little, so you know, have a chat about No, me. I don't. Come on. Gordon, shall I put the key under the mat, then? Yes. Have you got the cash? Yes. What are we flying, BAC? No. Oh, well, so long as it's British. Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely splendid, yes. Jolly top hole, Bungie. Bagged anything? No, 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 no. Not yet. Good afternoon. This is a robbery. <coughs> Pipe down, old chap. <coughs> I'll splash your brains right across <coughs> that wonderful antique counter. <coughs> Can we have your best double room, please? Well, they're all the same. <sighs> now, look, we've got a load of bread and we're used to good treatment, so what we want is champagne and special service. I'm sorry. We don't provide that type of extra. You don't understand. <laughs> look. See this? Now, uh, if we get what we want, you get this. In case, I'll have um, uh, two steaks, all the trimmings, yeah, yeah, champagne, uh, half a dozen cigars, and, uh, and some flowers, please. Thank you. There, see? Money talks. The hunt is still continuing for the so called heart attack taxi thief, and today the police were piecing together the amazing trail of the wanted fugitive. Dave Hallihan reports.
It was 10.30 yesterday morning on this quiet Victorian estate when the wanted man burst into the home of playwright William Shooney, who lives alone. I was aware that at any moment this man was likely to slip my throat from ear to ear. How did you react? Well, he, he was um, ranting to me about how he was going to get Mrs. Thatcher, and I, I pretended to agree with him. Um, he, he then smashed his way through, through this window here, um, using th that chair there. The wanted man then hijacked a black taxi cab from this man, John Troer, now in hospital, recovering from a heart attack. I was seconds. I was literally seconds away from death. This kind of incident is happening more and more. And I think the government should wake up and realise that taxi drivers should be armed. Like the police. <laughs> Another man who encountered the fugitive was actor Alan Peeley. Well, he seemed quite nice, really. And when the police told me he was a vicious armed robber, well, I was stunned. Were you frightened? No, not at all. Like I'll go and see him in prison if he wants me to. Then he put a hole in my ceiling and said he was going to splash my brains right over the counter. <laughs> The violent stabbing that resulted in the death of a cripple on a deserted chicken farm in the area is now thought to be... Uh, come in. Can I open the champagne, sir? That's a good idea. You were here on holiday? Yeah. Some very nice Norman churches around here. Are you interested in churches, sir? Why? Oh, no reason. I just find religion particularly comforting in times of stress. You know, I think it helps to be philosophical when facing human issues like death, for instance. What are you talking about? We both want cabbage. Have I seen you somewhere before? Really? Where was that, do you think? Hold it. Don't move. Get away from the trolley. Put your hands up in the air. What's going on? That's the milk policeman. Gina's you know, quite right, Angie. I'm a police officer. Get your hands up. Get the gun. I was just thinking on my way up here, Gina. I thought, what's the boy done? He's robbed a post office, stolen a few cars. And I thought, what's that worth? About five years. Maybe three years with good behavior. Up there, Gina, there are 50 armed bully boys offering certain death in the event of an injury to a fellow officer. So I thought, what would I do in your position? Come down the station for a chat or die in a hail of bullets? Yeah. I saw what you did to that mini, you arsehole. Then I thought, you lucky bastard. What a celebrity. Papers queuing to buy your story. You know, checkbook journalism. Film producers paying thousands for the film rights. I thought that's crime for you. Three years in the neck, you wind up a millionaire.
What are you doing? Hiding. From the police? Don't, don't worry. I hate the bastards. They towed my car away last week. You can come through the back way if you like. What, what have you done? Nothing much. You're not violent, are you? No, no, no. Actually, I'm a writer. I, I wondered if you'd be interested in this script I've written. It's a 30-minute TV play aimed at young people. I mean, that's what I'm interested in. Do you like plays for young people? Um, yes. I've tried several of the TV companies. Bastards! It's too controversial, that's the problem. I, I mean, I could write that shit. But what's the point in compromising? Life's too short, really, isn't it? Do you want some more tea? No, listen, where's your back door? Um, it, it's blocked up. I, I, I can't open it. This is a good bit. This guy is your age, and he meets a sailor at the pub. He says, I bet she's good at it, nodding to the girl at the bar. Sailor? Not me, mate. I'm queer. What do you see in girls? I don't know. It's supposed to be North Country. I, I can't do the accent. Shit. Don't worry, I'll sort this out. This is a bit much, isn't it? I'm trying to work. Police. Now, look here. I'm sick of you bastards coming round here. My car was towed away, there was no apology, and you have the nerve to demand 30 pounds for its return. What is this? Russia, Herr Führer? What's up, sir? Take your hand. West End, please, Gov. I'm finishing my lunch first. Quick! It's important! Don't tell me what's important, John. I've got angina. Do you know what that means? That means I've got to eat slowly, otherwise I'll die. Then you won't be going anywhere in this cab, will you? I mean... I mean... Look, look at that. Look at that. Rush, rush, rush. See him, see him. Heart attack. Look, uh, I've got to get to an hospital. Um, it's an emergency. Um, I'm a nuclear scientist and I've been exposed to radiation. Out of cab. Out of cab. All right, look, look, I'm sorry. Uh, the police are after me, but it's not my fault. It's a case of mistaken identity, really. interview there in half an hour. That's why I'm so nervous. Is your need to not work here? No. Oh. My darling, brings you just a little bit more. Right, how much do I owe then? Uh, pound? 
Oh dear, can you change your fibre? Uh, no, sorry, no. Well, what about that little purse dangling there? Cheers. Oh, your hand, you cut yourself. Yeah. Oh my God, and your face. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Oh, well, take care then. Bye. Bye. Bryanston Square, please. How much? That'll be three pound ninety for you. Cheers, God. Uh, I've had a good day. Keep the change, lucky boy. Drive! Just drive anywhere. It's all right, I'll pay. I can't take. It's all right at first, stayed at friends. Uh, but you know what it's like when you start falling over and frightening the children. <laughs> and then in the morning it was Max. Can you go now? I said, Mary, it's half past five in the morning. She said, I'm sorry, Max. I'm sorry. I don't feel safe while you're in the house. Cigarette? Of course. I admit it, I'm a, a bit of a mess just now. I, I haven't slept for seven days. <laughs> I'm a nice guy, aren't I? What the fuck is going on? I've been driving around in this car for three days and I don't know who I am anymore. And it's down to this. If someone doesn't start to understand me right now, I'm going to kill us all and I mean it. Am I coming across? Look, Max, we've got our own problems, right? Max, when this car slows down, I'm going to get out and kick the shit out of you. All you have to do is call her, tell her I'm sorry, and I'll do anything, anything she wants. She'll listen to you, I know. Tell her, tell her I love her and I'm really calm down. <laughs> Don't say you know me and talk quick before she puts the phone down. Just say it's calling. Just, just say I'm sorry and that, uh, is it ringing? Yeah. Oh, God, she's probably gone jogging. She's maybe met someone else. Oh, God, I hope he doesn't answer the phone. Um, do, do you think she's uh, met somebody else? Huh? Uh, what's something? Uh, do you want some money? I forgot to stop jabbering. Oh, OK, OK, I've shut up. I've shut up. What's her name? Phillips. Uh, hello, Mrs Phillips. Um, you don't know me. My name's uh, Angie Taylor. What did you say? What did you say? No, no, he's alive. Have some more money. Well, do you want to do this? No, just say I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just if you really, fully can't talk to him, Mrs Phillips, then he's very likely to kill not only himself, but me and my boyfriend as well. No, no, it's the way he drives. Yeah, I agree, he's a self-indulgent little worm. Just say I'm sorry. And I've really changed. Yeah, yeah, keep saying you're sorry. Look, here's Max. Bye. I love you!
Uh, hello. Mm. Mm. How much do I owe you? Sorry, I don't know much about last night. Uh, I don't really know who you are. What am I supposed to be doing in Essex? You got a fag? Yeah. Do you mind driving me back? No, no, I can't. Why have you nicked it or something? <laughs> no. I'm the uh, heart attack taxi thief. All right. I'm Angie. Pleased to meet you. How are you? Here, take this. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. Just strap yourself in in case I turn this thing over. Son of a bitch! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! didn't expect you to do that. <laughs> I'm an epileptic. Well, I've been all right since Christmas. My wife says I'm crazy and ought to be locked up. Perhaps she's right. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. Wish I could see her. She won't let me in the house without a lawyer. I mean, that's not a proper marriage, is it? Huh? Are you uh, are you married? <laughs> 